so we have completed the first two programs in my previous video lecture so now we'll see these two programs third and fourth hello everyone this is shravan kumar mantri welcome to our channel csc gurus so how to write a program to sort string characters in c so that means only one string is given so in that you want to sort the characters might be in ascending order or in descending order how to do that that we'll see uh, and also this one this is of course where the sorting of the strings okay i'll give some examples like this okay so this is what like the first thing you want to do uh, whenever one string is given how to sort it so that part we'll see now for example if you have taken this as a string so we have to sort the characters so how to get it that is the first thing and the fourth question it is like better let us suppose i have given these are the different strings or words so how to sort them so that means which comes first according to strings in dictionary order so this is also very interesting of course this is very easy this is somewhat interesting we'll see both coming to this third question we are given a string like this let us suppose it is a string str and index starts with zero so anyway it ends with null character every string in c so now what you are doing how to sort it the characters anyway our output should be like of course according to the ascii value according according to the alphabetic order a comes first then h then p then p then y this should be my output so how to make it sorting in general uh, if you remember like instead of characters if i have elements here something like a number here also something like a number so what you want to do if you want to sort you will go for some sorting technique like selection sort bubble sort whatever and of course i provided all those lectures video lectures of sorting you can watch in my channel csc gurus now if there are characters how to sort them so we can do the same right so in c we have like every character have respective ascii value so we follow like this so that we'll get the order so this is what we have to plan so anyway you can take any one of the sorting technique you can find it or else you can see one sort of the technique now i am introducing so here we'll see how to get it so i've taken a string of course i've taken the length is 30 and of course i need these variables for the process i'll show you and i have taken an enter string in a printf statement and then get as it is reading input that is a string from the user and we know that the difference between scanf and get as where get as will read the spaces also as a characters whereas scanf won't read it takes the characters up till the space so in order to read more than one string we always prefer get as now n we want to find the string length i use directly the string length function str alien so for that i have written here string dot as which is the string manipulation functions where you can have the definition of what is str alien which is which gives the length of the string in our example if i take what is the length of this one where n value is equals to it is 5 right of course you can ignore the null character here so now we can observe how to make it and of course before sorting i just want to print what is this string before sorting happy is there directly it will print then process starts actually you can see here yeah so it is you can observe i started with 0 they started with i plus 1 the thing here is i just want to compare h with a h with p h with again p h with y like this i just want to compare every time of course first i'll compare and i'll swap if first one is greater than the second one according to the ascii value so after that again that means the index value what is a zero str of zero will be compared with 1 2 3 4 like this it will compare then str of 1 i'll compare with 1 to 2 1 to 3 like this so this is what the logic here you can see so zero with i plus 1 1 that means str of zero with str of 1 right so that is what here it is written str of i is greater than j that means str of 0 what is that h is greater than a see these are the characters how this will compare as a greater no worries it will take directly the ascii value so whatever the ascii values for upper case so a starts with 65 b 66 like this up till z it is 90 and of course anyway for lower case it is 97 like this up to 122 
so now it will observe like for h and a of course h is greater than a we can say so we are swapping simple these three lines are for swapping two characters so what happens here here a will come here h will come so that swapping will be done in the first step whenever it is greater than like this then i j equals to next value 2 so now you can observe here a is there here p is there now a is greater than p definitely not so swapping won't happen next value a with again p no a with i no so like this for i equals 0 is over now what is the next i value after 0 1 so now what is there in 1 h now so h with p h with p is this greater no if it is greater it will swap next h with again p like this so this process continues until it will go for the last but one why because if i value is something like n j will become n plus 1 so that's why if there are n characters that's why i should i should be at, at anyway it is up to n minus 1 so i should be at n minus 2 j should be at the last as n minus 1 so that is what here you can see less than n minus 1 that's why n minus 2 here at j less than n means up to n minus 1 so that is what this must be taken care otherwise it will take the null character also so which should not be taken actually so this is what it will check it out and finally after the swapping you will get after the rearrangement you will get it as whatever the string that should be so now you may feel like is it a selection sort no why because in selection sort you have to find always the minimum element and after that you want to swap with the first element is it a bubble sort no why because always it should be adjacent swap so the, this is also one more method of sorting like this also you can do anyway you will get here also the complexity as n square so that means you have written two nested for loops if there is a length of the string is n so at most i mean at most you can traverse that means your loop should be at n into n times right almost like of course one less right so this has to be written but that's why always n square is a complexity like this easily you can write it now we'll see the execution whether we have done it perfect or not i'll try to execute so i just copied whatever i explained here you can observe whatever the main fun main function here so up till this one reading the string now the logic is here you can observe everything i copied we'll see whether this will give the correct answer or not I have to enter a string I'll take maybe a lowercase characters so yeah you can see string before sorting is happy and after sorting after sorting you can see like this we'll take another I'll take CSC gurus you can observe so c followed by next is e next g next r next two s then next two u's so like this easily you can get it uh, sorting now my question is what if if i want to remove the duplicates let us suppose once again i am executing so here s two times u two times so i don't want to get two times so I want to remove those duplicates anyway I need to get the sorted order but duplicate should be removed how to get it anyway I'll explain this one in my in the next videos where I'll find the repetition the count I'll maintain and I'll, I'll explain so this one is over now we'll see this one program to sort the strings in dictionary order so what is actually this dictionary order we'll see now so let us suppose I have taken a set of strings it's not a one string it's a set of strings if I say str it's a set of strings means I have to define with two dimensional so I will try to represent like this str of 0 is a one string str of 1 is entire string str of 2 like this so total is six strings and in general if I take a string str like this if I say str of 0 means it's one character right it's a single character but if I take like this and str of 0 means it's a one string right so that is what anyway how to represent I'll show you and now you can observe so in order to let us suppose if I, if I want to represent this h character how to represent I'll write here str of it's a which row str of 0 
and of course these are the columns so like this you have and what is this 2 so what is str of 0 to which is equals to h so like this you can represent the strings okay if I say str of 1 2 means what so second row third column so second row third column right so second row third column m you will get it what about str1 it's a sec entire second string so this one so Ramesh you will get it in str1 so like this first you need to represent this is the first thing we need to do afterwards how to get the sorting order sorting order according to the dictionary how to get the answer so first of all I'll let you know like what is the output of this one which should come first among these six strings so which should come according to the alphabetic order dictionary order r r s r v d is there so d comes first among all so doni this part should be the first one and next if you see r r s r v in this r should come first right so there are three r triple r now in this three r's which should come in the dictionary order if they are matching i need to go to the next letter o a a is there so o a a so a and a should come first but a and a again matching next letter m and h so h should come first so this will be my second string now anyway you know this will be my third string so that means after a matching o you need to go fourth string now all these are over and next s is there v is there s should s should come next and finally v so this is what we call it as dictionary order and I need to get this order when I write a program I need to get this as output so how to get this one we'll try to get it and here we have to know the thing called as a function called as strcmp which is called a string compare function so what is the string com compare function I'll explain here by taking the program now you can see here a string compare functions what a string compare function will do let us suppose if I take two strings str cmp of s1 comma s2 which returns three types of values one is negative then zero other one is positive when it is positive negative that means if the s1 is less than s2 in the dictionary order according to the characters whatever in the order and if it is 0 if both are equal and if it is positive if s1 is greater than s2 let me take two examples okay let me take Virat and Dhoni so if I would write string compare function for these two what is the value you will get so if I write Virat and Dhoni anyway V is greater than D right so that's why positive so V is greater like this it will check it out so that's why you will get answer as positive anyway in some compilers it will print plus one in some compilers it will print what is the ASCII difference of V and D V minus D will be printed anyway it is positive value now if I write if I go with the string compare function of Dhoni and Virat so reverse if I give Dhoni and Virat D first V next so what is D minus V negative so in that case you will get the answer as negative value okay so that is what and also let me take this example uh, Rohit and Ramesh Rohit first and Ramesh next what is the output you will get string compare value that means R R both are same will it give 0 no then it will check O and A what is O minus A ASCII positive so that's why you will get this answer so like this let us suppose if I take Ramesh and Rahul R and R same A and A same M and H not same now what is M minus H positive so that's why positive value what if if I write Rahul and Ramesh then negative right H minus M will be done that will be the negative value so if you give two strings same like if I take CSC Gurus as a first string as well as CSC Gurus as a second string in this case the string compare value is zero both strings are same I will ask one question what if CSC if I give an CSC gurus what is the output for this one is it same CSC CSC is zero no now after CSC what is the next character yes definitely the null character 
whenever a string you have taken that last character is null character and here you have g so null character and g it will check with the ascii value anyway null character the ascii value is less than this g so that's why it will give a negative value you can check it out writing so this logic we'll take and we'll try to get the output for this program very simple i'll take if the string compare value i'll take now the meaning is negative in the sense let us suppose if i take s1 and s2 if the string compare value is negative in the sense what is the result that means s1 should come first in the dictionary before s2 let us suppose if i take dhoni virat dhoni followed by virat so that means dhoni should come first before virat so that's why it is so that means the string compare value is minus minus 1 or negative value so if the string compare value is negative that means no need to change the order whatever the order we have given but if it is a positive let me take some example suresh and rahul if i give suresh followed by rahul which should come first in the dictionary rahul but here suresh followed by rahul what is the string compare value positive so whenever the compare string compare value is positive we have to swap them now the question is how to swap in general in general we we swap like we'll take a temporary variable and we'll write temp equals to s1 s1 equals to s2 and s2 equals to temp will you do the same thing in c language to swap the strings to swap the characters you can do like this but to swap the strings you cannot do like this so what you have to do you have to use a function plus string manipulation function string copy you can use so now we can see the program so i have taken str 10 50 means i can store totally 10 strings maximum and each string will have 50 characters maximum so that is the meaning of str it's a two dimensional not one dimensional temp is one temporary string that means i have taken with maximum 50 characters so i am taking an example enter six words you can have n number of words and you can take what is n value that is also fine so i have taken six words and 0 i equals 0 i less than 6 and i plus plus i'm reading so how to read this is also very most important so uh, why i have taken this cap slash n means percentile s means it's a string it will take once if i hit enter when i give input that means that slash n it takes as some delimiter and afterwards whatever is it will be taken as next input let us suppose if i give rohit then hit enter that means rohit can be taken in str of 0 then it will check for what is str of 1 so i'll enter ramesh then hit enter so it will take so this is what happens you may have a doubt like why don't i take get s see get s if even if you hit enter it might take like it's a complete string rohit and ramesh in my view there are two strings but if you take get s might be it will read it as one string that might be the problem so that's why in order to avoid all i have given cap slash n this is a very important one you can use it now here the same like sorting technique okay where i have taken if n are there n strings are there n vo characters are there so you have to go to n minus 1 and i plus 1 so that's what whatever i explained for the previous the same thing i have taken same comparison you can see if string compare value of two strings is greater than 0 that means positive i explained what is this so if it is positive means they the two strings to be swapped otherwise no need to swap so now if it is greater i have to swap how to swap you can see string copy of temp let me take what here you will get it temp is initially free okay it's a string i have taken so let us suppose rohit and ramesh actually if you see rohit and ramesh what is the string compare value you will get positive greater than 0 so i need to swap how to swap you can see str of i what is i value let us suppose i value 0 means j value 1 so temp will be rohit then string copy of str so what is this actually str of i will be copied to this one he similarly str of j ramesh will be copied to str of i what is i 0 here so next string copy of what is there in temp rohit will be copied to str of j means 1 so now after swapping you can observe what is str of 0 ramesh str of 1 rohit previously you can see 
they are in reverse so this is what swapping you can do in C like this if you want to swap the strings if you want to swap the characters very simple you can assign with equals to operator but strings you cannot do directly like this so this is what you have to do and this has to be repeated for every two strings like for these two for these two for these two like this and next for these two like this and like this and then going like this and some combinations you can take all those combinations you can check it out and finally whatever is there that will be printed like this i equals zero totally six words i have taken and i am printing in put s which will print all the strings so this is what very important how to get the string compare what is this logic you can see even if you don't know exactly what is string compare you can see my previous videos where i explained how to do what is actually string compare and execute it so we'll see this part and execution also yeah i copied everything whatever i explained right now now we'll see the output yeah it is asking six words i'll have to give six words so i'll take all lowercase letters see this case sensitive is also very important why because there is a ascii value differs when you take some are lowercase and some are uppercase so i'll take rohit ramesh suresh and then i'll take dhoni i'll take virat uh i'll take rahul so we know the order what it should come first it should be rahul should come first next ramesh next rohit of course before all this dhoni should come first then rahul rahul ramesh rohit then suresh then virat we'll see the output you can see the output here in lexicographical order dhoni then rahul ramesh rohit suresh and virat so like this easily if you want to give n number and you can change it you can change this program also like here you have to read n value and i less than up to n here n minus 1 here also n so like this you can change it that is also very easy so we'll see the next two next programs in the next video lecture thank you